Turn signal lights out. For those of you who've been following our channel, you know that Cindy and I recently installed a set of blackout LED taillights. And soon afterwards, discovered we had the following error message. You know, because we tried installing a set of LED taillights on a jail wrangler that came with LED taillights. Anyway, being that this is YouTube, you have to know that there were a ton of people who chimed in to let me know just how easy this should be to fix. Um, yeah. I tried turning it off with my taser. I tried cutting off the resistors. And I even tried a few other things that were suggested to me. And nothing. But just when I was about to give up, a good friend of mine, a guy who would know a thing or two about Jeeps, explained to me in detail exactly what I needed to do. In fact, doing this would not only eliminate the air that we're getting with our tail lights, it would also address any lights that the LED health monitor keeps an eye on. This would include headlights, fog lights, and even turn signal lights. However, I do need to point out that you will need one of these to do it. A taser or a taser mini. Okay, let's get rid of this error code. And the first thing we're gonna to need to do is turn our Jeep to the run position without actually starting the engine. All right, everything cycled through. So now we're gonna start scrolling through our menu screens until we get to audio. Then pressing the left arrow button down, we're gonna press on the cancel button on the right to scroll through the taser menu until we get to lighting. Press the cruise control button in the center to select it, and then the cancel button again to scroll through the menu screens until you get to LED tail. All right, as you can see, the LED tail is currently set to yes. And so now we're gonna press the cruise control button to change it to no. Essentially, we just set them to being a standard set of incandescent lights. And from here, all we need to do is click on the resume button to reboot the system. Once finished, we can turn off our Jeep and then hop out and shut the door. Now, I should note that these are all things that I had done before, but what I didn't do was the hokey pokey. Specifically, we'll need to wait for our Jeep to completely go to sleep, as in wait for all the lights to go off. And just for good measure, to make sure everything is in fact off, we're going to wait about two minutes before doing anything else. So it's been a couple minutes. So now we're gonna get back into our Jeep, back into the taser, and then we're gonna reboot the system and then get back out, wait a couple minutes and do the whole thing over again. So we've just done three reboots 
And now we're gonna go back into our taser yet again, only this time we're gonna go back to the light settings and change the LED tail to yes. All right, so I just changed our LED tail back to yes. Um, I rebooted the system. I'm gonna turn off our Jeep, exit the Jeep, wait two minutes, and then do the whole process two more times. All right, that's three full reboots and that should effectively disable our LED health monitor. But there's still one more thing that we're gonna need to do. So after about 30 seconds, we're gonna need to turn the turn signal the other way. As mentioned before, you will need a taser or a taser mini to do this, but as you can see, no more error code. 